Hello, my dear grade 7 students. Welcome back to Mamuron and Chris channel. So, for today, we are now on our last lesson of our module 3 of Science 7, Quarter 1. So, for today, I'm going to discuss to all of you the instructions on how to answer or accomplish the different tasks or activities in this module. Okay, let's start. So let's begin with a part of what I need to know. So let's read. Hello, how are you today? Are you ready for another round of learning? In this module, before you will distinguish mixtures from substances based on a set of properties, we will also explore the mixtures. So in no, so lesson 1, I'm going to discuss a and topic is more on pure substances or substances. Now on lesson 2, the focus of the lesson is all about mixtures. So for example, look around you. Can you tell whether if this matter found in your environment or even in your home are mixtures such as the air you smell and breathe, the food you eat, the water you drink, and the other things you see, hear, and feel? Now it is for you to find out with the help of this module. So, after going through this module, we're expected to Number 1. Define mixtures Number 2. Describe mixtures based on a set of properties And Number 3. Relate the importance of mixtures in real-life situations So probably ito sa lesson title Nagkaroon lang sila ng typographical error So I think this should be properties of mixtures Okay, anyway, let's proceed the what I know part. So before you begin in reading the lesson about mixtures, you must answer first the what I know part. So again, can you prepare your papers and pen, write down your name, your grade and section, the subject, the module number, and the lesson number. Then the direction is read each item carefully, write only the letter of the correct answer for each question. So we have here 15 items which are all multiple choice. So meaning you are going to write the letter of your answer. So numbers 1 to 15. So that is the first task that we have in our lesson 2. Okay, so let's proceed to what's in so, in your previous lesson, you learned solution, which is a homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous means uniform in composition, which makes the appearance uniform all throughout. So, this time, you will describe the appearance and other properties of mixtures. Is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? And what are the other properties of pure substances? I think this is supposed to be mixtures. Anyway, let's proceed with the... Uh, with the second activity under the what's new part. So, tulad lang po ng mga previous uh, task natin sa so what's new. Again, we will have this poem entitled, I am a substance, I am a mixture by Wilfredo D. Bartolo Jr. So again, um, read carefully the poem. No, basahin po ng mabuti ang tula kasi dyan po makikita yung mga maging sagot po ninyo sa guide questions. So, we have here the guide questions. So, ito po yung ating second activity under the what is it. So, first question is, what is a mixture? So, based on the poem, kindly define what is a mixture. Okay. Then, the second guide question is, what are the sets of properties of mixtures? Ano, ano, ano ba ang katangian ng uh, mixtures? Ayan, nandito po yan sa tula. So, basahin lamang po mabuti. Then, for number three, tabulate your answer about the properties of matter. So, you're going to copy this table. No? Given the set of properties in terms of appearance, melting point, and boiling point, can you describe or give the characteristic of mixtures in terms of these properties? Okay, then let's proceed with another activity. So, under parin ito ng what is it? So, third activity. So, given here are the figures showing the 
separating techniques for the components of mixtures. So, we have figure A, figure B, figure C, D, E, and F. So, analyze po ng mabuti yung uh, mga figures or diagrams on your module. And then, for the third activity, answer the following question. So, your answer must be the letters referring to the figure. So, basahin lang po ng mabuti yung question. Let's say, for example, letter A. Which pictures show filtration or streaming? So, alin sa mga pictures na ito yung nagpapakita ng nag-filter or nag strain So, you will just write down, let's say, figure A. Ganon. Okay. So, A to E. Para po sa third activity under, what is it? A to F pala, I'm sorry. A to F. Okay. And then, read this paragraph. So, description siya ng mga separating techniques. And then, proceed with the fourth activity. So, tulad po nung nasa lesson 1 natin, nung meron tayong dalawang um, guides. Table 1, which shows the boiling point of two liquid samples. Again, liquid A and liquid B. So, ito yung kanilang mga values before heating and after a specific period of time. Ito yung kanilang changes sa temperature. While sa liquid B, ito naman. Okay. So, as you can see sa liquid A, after 12 minutes, naging constant na yung kanyang boiling point na natili siyang 100. While for liquid B, the temperature varies, nagbabago every specific time. Okay. And then for scenario 1, melting point melting point of two solid samples. So read the paragraph here for scenario 1 and then answer the guide questions. So I think the same lang to nung sa lesson 1 natin. For the guide question, which liquid sample is a substance? So dito yun, sa Table 1, ito yung tinutukoy. So, ang sasagot nyo, either A or B. Then, complete the table. So, what is the temperature of the boiling point of liquid A based on the table? And what is the temperature of the boiling point of liquid B? Again, based on the table. So, it's very obvious. And then, write down the observation regarding the, the changes in the temperature if there is while the liquid is being heated. And then, for number two, which solid sample is a substance? So, you're going to refer to the scenario number one. So, solid A or solid B. Um, possible answer. And then, again, here is a table, pa complete. So, we have the two samples, solid A and B. What is the appearance based on the scenario one? Naka-indicate naman dyan. Basta basahin lang na mabuti. Then, write down the observation while the liquid A and B is heated or was heated. So, write it down here. I'm sorry. Dito pala sa kabila. Dito sa number 2. Number 2 na tayo. Okay. Then, so that is the third. Uh, I think fourth. Fourth activity siya. For what is it? Then, let's proceed with the what's more. So, decide how to separate these mixtures. Pag mixtures, from the word mix, meron kang mga substances na pinaghalo. So, determine kung paano ma-separate yung mixtures na to. Anong technique ang pwedeng gamitin. Now, if it's not possible, just write the word cannot be separated. Kung hindi sila kayang i-separate or paghiwalayin yung substance na hinalo. So, number from 1 to 6. So, this is uh, our fifth activity. And you can refer to the following figures or diagrams or illustrations. And then, for the sixth activity, under what's more. So, ayan, may, meron tayo mga situations here. And then, meron tayo mga questions below the paragraph. So, basahin na ng mabuti. So, all of these are related to mixtures. And, at the same time, application din nung naging lesson nung sa pure substance sa lesson 1. 
So, ma-identify nyo dyan yun. Dyan yung ma-identify kung ang isang substance, ang isang matter ba ay substance or mixture. So, how many scenarios do we have? A, B, C, tatlo. That is for our sixth activity. Under the what's more. Then, let's proceed to what I have learned. So, siguro, kabisado nyo na. So, in what I have learned, you're going to read the paragraph carefully and fill in the correct words that fit in the given sentences. So, makikita yun sa loob ng box. So, ito yung pag pipilian para masagutan ang what I have learned. So, ito ay pang seventh activity in our lesson number two. Then, proceed tayo sa what I can do. So, ito, the same lang nung activity natin sa lesson 1. But this time, instead of pure, pure substances, ang hanapin yung example ay mixtures. No? So, you're going to enumerate five examples of mixtures here. And then, describe the appearance kung homogeneous or heterogeneous. How are going to describe the separating techniques? Can be separated ba or inseparable? If liquid uh, mixture ang binigay nyo example, ano ang boiling point? Probably fixed temperature ba or different in different times? Kapag naman po solid ang nilagay nyo mixtures dito, ano ang characteristic na kanyang melting point? Not completely or in smoothly or portion does not melt. So, maglagay na na kayo ng mga example ng mixtures na uh, readily available sa bahay ninyo. Or yung mixtures na alam ninyo para madali nyo masagutan itong nasa table natin. So, that is for, for the part of what I can do. So, that's the eighth activity. So, pangwala siya. Then, let's proceed with the assessment. So, this is the post test. So, again, this is Composed of 15 questions. So, basahin po ng mabuti. And then, write down the letter of your answer. So, that will be all about mixtures. And then, for the last part, is we have the additional activities. So, kung sa lesson 1 Venn diagram ang ginawa ninyo, dito naman po, we're going to end the lesson with crosswords. I'm sure you're familiar on how to answer crosswords. So, meron tayong uh, words na across and words that are supposed to be written down. So, basahin po ng mabuti yung um, statement or yung clue para malaman po ninyo yung sagot. It depends upon, no? Kung ito ay pa across or that. Okay. So, that is our 10th so, yung assessment natin pang 9th activity, 9th pang 9 na task, and then our last task for this lesson is the additional activities, yung crossword puzzle. Pang 10th na activity siya for lesson 2 of our module 3. So, we are done now with... Lesson three, uh, lesson two of our module three of Science Seven, Quarter One. Okay, so I hope nakatulong po si Ma'am Rona para maunawaan kung paano sa sagutan yung bawat task or activities na nasa module po natin sa science. Okay, so that's all for today. Good luck. And God bless. Goodbye class. See you in our next module.